Greetings YouTube, welcome to another episode of I Am Unbox and today we are going to be unboxing the final car in this small little series that we started off, the Porsche. So let's have a quick look at this one. Yeah, so we've got a nice Porsche uh, 911 Turbo Cabriolet in red. I mean I'm not really a fan of, um, uh, you know, uh, convertible Porsches, I, I like the hard tops. I don't really like this red colour, but I wanted to get it just to complete the collection. Um, but again, it, well, I've not really got a full collection because this one let me down here, the, the Maserati. Um, so let's just get this one opened up. I mean, I do like Porsches. I mean, I actually love Porsches, especially in the 911 turbos. Um, but I do plan to get a, a 118 of the uh, 911 turbo uh, in, a, uh, in a black or maybe white colour. Um, to add to the collection, so let's just see what this one's all about. Okay, so move the box on the side, bit of a closer look. Yeah, first look at it doesn't look bad. Nice silver finish on the uh, on the wheels. See the detail? No, oh, it's got some good detail uh, on the inside. Uh, got some good seats. Well, let's get this uh, let's get this one out then. So yeah, um, so this Porsche 911 Turbo, this isn't the 911 Turbo S, because the S is obviously the, uh, you know, the more powerful edition. This is just the 911 Turbo, the standard. Um, I think on this one it has 532 brake horsepower and uh, top speed of 198 miles an hour. Um, and 0 to 62 in uh, 3.1 seconds I believe. But do check that out, that's what I kind of got from the internet. So, having a quick look at this. Yeah, it looks okay. I've noticed. Does that look a bit wonky to you? Hmm. That looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Because I think this side is a little bit higher. Can you see? Can you tell? Hmm, there you go. There's my perfectionist... Um, uh, Graphic design nature coming out, so I liked everything to be even. So I think they've not, uh, I don't think this is made very well. Oh, look at that, that's dead plasticky, dead flimsy. That oh, well, it's it can't be as bad as the Maserati was. So let's continue, let's just continue and open up the uh, plastic. Let's get this out here then. So we've got no stringy, uh, so that means there's going to be no other components that open up. What's this? Here? Oh. Oh, oh, we do. Oh, we've got a little tape on here, so <laughs> the back does open. Very good. So that's uh, another bonus point. Wow, check that out. Very nice. So it, it opens quite nice and firm. Yeah, it stays up and then just drops down when you push it down. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's just have a closer look. So side view, wheels. Mm, I don't really like them wheels. I think they're a bit old, more over the top then, them wheels. They don't really roll that well. Oh yeah, the rubber on it's not that good. Oh well, let's just carry on anyway. Let's look at the front. Yeah, I mean, you can't, you know, you can't mess with a Porsche. A Porsche is just an awesome, awesome car. But on this one, I'm going to just keep picking at this. I can see the paint job. Can you see the silver there? It continues all the way around at the bottom and on the top. And on this side, it kind of continues more on the top so it's uneven so it's not a very neat finish not happy about that the finishing could have been a lot better you know with the top and the paint around the lights look at the side yeah nice look at the back of the car love the back design of a Porsche I just I, I love the overall designs of the Porsches they're, they're just so cool so aerodynamic I can see a little bit of tyre. Oh, none of these wheels aren't good at all. It, I, I've got to say, these are probably the worst wheels on the collection so far. And can you see Can you see that? Can you see that there? Can you see that little bit of tyre just coming, <laughs> like, in it, extending out? Yeah, rubbish that. No good. But, hey, at least it's functional. Not like the Maserati. That, that Maserati. All right, let's just see. Yeah, base is okay. It's in place. It's not falling off. Um, let's have a look at the doors. Yep, doors are okay. That door's okay anyway. Have a look at this one. 
yeah, that's not bad. Side mirrors, yeah, glued on very well. Yeah, with the standard foil as per the supermarket range. Yeah, so on the inside we've got yeah good detail on the gear stick. Just a little sticker on the um, uh, on the display there. Oh yeah, oh, oh that steering wheel does move, but I doubt the wheels are going to move. A little bit of pedal detail, yeah. So overall, let's just let's just give it a spin. Oh well, it doesn't spin very well because this silly wheel. I mean that piece of rubber just keeps coming in the way. I might have to cut that piece of rubber off. Let's just just, just have a look. Let's just there, there you go. There you go. Job done. There, there it is. Got rid of it. Job done. So let's give that a spin. No, that's still not better. I mean that doesn't even that wheel doesn't even spin. Can you see? It's like touching the edge of the car. Oh, I'm not happy with this one either. I think this one's gonna end up going back. Oh, oh, disappointed again. Right. Okay. Oh, I tell you what, I'll probably just end up giving this to my son. He can he can have this for his little you know, his little toy bag. Yeah, actually, you know what? Can't be bothered returning it now. So I'm just gonna end up giving it to my son. So let's just put this one. This second disappointment to the side and let's bring the better ones out so here was the Aston the Aston was very good very good indeed really happy with the Aston we've got the Merc really happy with the Merc McLaren yeah happy with the McLaren and we have the Lamborghini so happy with the Lamborghini as well so overall, I would say that this collection is, this supermarket collection is kind of complete now, I guess. Um, I do actually have another car that I could add to this collection. It's actually part of the old uh, supermarket range. So it, this was like the new one that they bought out this year. And the one previous uh, to this one was in 2016. I actually bought one of the models from it. It was a blue... Um, it was a blue car. I can't remember what it was, but I think I'll do that as an as an unboxing next week, and um, so then at least we'll have six six cars. But again, the ones that I'm going to probably put on the shelf on the on my collector's shelf is going to be these four. This one, I'm going to have to bin that one. Just going to give it to my son. He can have a play around with it. Do you know, throw it around, whatever. But yeah, so not really happy with today's unboxing. But overall, four out of the six that we had originally definitely happy happy with so i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and what i'll do is i'll put the uh, links to the descriptions of all these models that i've unboxed uh, to something similar that you can um, have a look at and buy if you want if you want to collect or or not so uh, that that should be good um yeah, I'm just disappointed with this. So, yeah, I probably... I, pr I bet you any money I'll be able to find a better link to a better version of this car. And you know what? I'll probably end up buying that as well. So, there you go then, folks. Uh, thanks so much for your time. Have a nice day. Take care of yourself. And peace.